Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Cataclysmo. Let's try episode four. No, episode three, sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna keep playing this. Um, we are exploring some nearby ruins in mission number five. I'm really enjoying this game so far. I don't know how much further we'll continue this series. Uh, the point of a let's try is just to expose myself and you guys to a game, but this is a sweet game and I feel like it could get really crazy He's always with scavenging from bigger and bigger waves and stuff. So I think there's a lot more we still have to discover in this game. But this one seems like a, we're not starting out city building. So that's interesting. Hmm. How quiet it is. Tranquil. Is this what things were like before the cataclysmo? Wind maybe, Lady Iris, maybe. Masks on. We will prevail. Ooh. Some stairs. Okay. Good. What's the point of this? I don't know. Masks Decoration. On. So I guess I have to stairway my way down here. That way we can do this. And then this. Does that work? I think. That's right. No, we have to delete this. A unit um, destination. Cannot recycle scenery pieces. Okay, you have to attack that scenery piece. Yes. Oh, that's. A unit can't reach bad. its destination. <laughs> well, I uh, didn't expect that to happen. Um, uh, go back to. Time folding. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, uh, redid that a little bit. This time we just bridged that that's little right. gap, so I didn't have to destroy anything. Little puzzle, puzzle scenario there. Hey, are you baiting me somewhere, little friend? Okay, I'll bite. Yes, at least these ancient beacons are a comfort. I could anchor myself in time here. Just in case. Oh. Should I? Proud it won't flags. let me hit the button. Proud Bridget. We'll grab this item. Mm -hmm. Get some blocks. Stone. I can work with them. A stone piece will always grant full support to a wood piece placed anywhere on top of it. Oh. So if I do something like this and then that, we can't do any more stone, but I should be able to do the wood thing so I can get way out there like that um, so that should do it though maybe I shouldn't have required myself to use some stairs uh, I think I'll be okay that'll do it yes a unit can't reach what? its destination. Oh, oh, I need stairs down. There we go. Good. Yeah, I probably could have done that a little better without as many pieces, but doesn't seem like it's We're not playing Poly Bridge here. It's not a competition. A unit can't Though, reach its destination. I might need those stairs. To get over there. We will prevail. Or I can just cross here, I guess. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. For Ogar. What did you find, Hermes? It's some kind of relic. And <gasps> there is a page preserved inside. Ooh, Birdie found something good. Iris will discover pages left behind by a lost expedition. Approach and collect these pages to discover the fate of your fellow yes. explorers. Field Diary of the Lady Aura, Expedition Overseer. It's been four days since we left Ciudad Hogar, and already morale is low. It's the only thing my training could never prepare them for. Homesickness. If humanity's ever to crawl out of this calamity, these lambs need to toughen up. I need to toughen up. 
This Alta Pearl won't be easily found, and when it is, I must have the strength to deal with it. So someone's come looking for it for me. Alda, wherever she was, she sought the same thing we do, but she never did come back. Interesting. I diary for my records. With luck, we may find more pages as we advance. Hmm. It's almost like it's part of extra objectives, I bet. Okay, so that was more of a little story mission. I don't mind that. I always hated in games like StarCraft. Past expeditions failed. Um, but we are stronger. And I have just the contraption to prove that. Oh, do you know? I always hated missions with just units, you know, where you don't get a base. Um, I never found those super enjoyable because I feel like the point of an RTS is like, I want to build bases and units. And when you take all that away from me, it makes kind of an interesting story slash puzzle thing. But I just I rarely liked those levels very much. Now, Warcraft 3 was a little bit different because you had the hero units and you were still leveling them up and collecting valuable items for their inventory. And so in Warcraft 3, those levels felt a little better. Um, but in games that are far more just like, the only thing is every, you know, every unit's the same and no units are better than others. I just didn't, I didn't love those in StarCraft. Okay, so what have I not unlocked? It seems like this one might as well. Just in case something happens, we can protect the Citadel. Because I can always undo that later. So no harm in doing that now. And then once I have one more knowledge point, we'll unlock this next kind of tier of stuff. Okay, on to the next one. Establish a bomber's workshop, pick up a lost page. Hey, it's almost like I predicted it would be an optional objective or bonus objective or whatever. The scholars send instructions, Overseer. Where to build mist fueled cannons? Mist fueled cannons. Yes, please. That is right, Harold. I will not let us become yes. another lost expedition. Oh, and we start with you one. You won't regret it, Overseer. I've been sent to show you the cannon's power myself. A low volley. Holgar Cannoneer. Artillery troop. Moderate damage to multiple targets in a very broad area. Deploy size. I oh, it's wait. a big... It's a big boy. Or a big girl. Oh, why um, 4.5 cooldown. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. So it's about half the speed of the lobber in terms of fire rate, maybe slightly faster. The attack damage uh -huh. is quite a bit more, and this can only hit two targets. I don't think I knew that. I thought a lobber did full splash damage, but apparently it only does. I also don't know what powder ball changes. Interesting. Yeah, I don't yes. know. I don't know what powder ball changes compared to mm -hmm. what we had before. Maybe it does full splash damage rather than what they did before. I don't know. I should pause it. Um, they require mist fuel to power their weapons. So how does yeah. that work? Do they do they spend a resource with every shot? Or or what? Um Yeah. It's not entirely clear. Alright, well, we got ourselves a mission here. So step one is gonna be establishing more wood. What they started us out with some shacks. An air filter, a single um, sawmill over there, another air filter with some shacks. There's stone right here, 
They gave us a barracks, and that's about it. So I'm going to start by sending a bowman over here to explore. We need to get down here to grab all that stuff. I'll always take free resources. Oh, there's horrors over there that we'll have to take out. What is this? A mist condenser. Aha. Collects mist fuel for use in explosives and machinery. Performs better when mist is nearby and abundant. Okay, so there's another kind of third resource we have to collect. Um... Where to? Hmm. Wait, over right there. Yeah. The valley masks on a low volley. Mm hmm. And then the cannoneers oh, are gonna yeah. have space to stand, which they don't Why yet not? have space up here. Yeah. Hmm. I think I want to train a couple bowmen just to have. For little explorations. Now, why is this telling me enemies are near? I don't see anything. Is that over there? So, I do I need to work my way around? Because it won't let me build stairs here. That seems very intentional. So, I'm guessing we're gonna have to work our way around. The body, that's right. Masks on. And there's a brood nest over here. Uh oh. I think this is too much for these two to deal with. Yes. How that beacon did not last long. Low oxygen production. Okay. So I'm going to get another sawmill set up. Probably over here. And then we can get one set up here. And eventually one over there. Quarry obviously needs to be set up somewhere in this vicinity. Okay, so over here in this area is more stone, so we're going to get a second quarry set up, but we're going to need a beacon first. So we'll beacon over here, and then, oh, jeez. These things are still attacking. Um, getting some more oxygen production going, got the sawmills all set up, so... We're under attack. We'll be good on that. Under attack where? Okay, we already knew this. We need a slightly larger expedition for that. And then... Yeah, so once that's done, we'll get another quarry. And then uh, this is an obvious mist fuel collection area, but I'm guessing we don't unlock that till Prosperity 3, it looks like. All that stuff. So for now, just have to wait on it. Boom. Wait, so you can shoot without mist fuel? Maybe it just costs mist fuel to yes. build them. That's Hello? probably what it is. Cannon. I can't wait. Oxygen. There should be more stone and minerals around somewhere nice huh why not okay here's even more stone sweet huh? okay They are low ground units. They actually slow enemies if they're on the same Z level, so we want to make sure they're not too high up. It looks like at Prosperity 3, I get an upgrade for air filters, which is nice. I'm going to build a couple more of my blueprint shack plus air filter combo. 
Oh, that was bad. Uh huh. Now we're. All right, so we built a little bridge to get across here. I can't wait. Grab more. What is this? Minerals and stone. Okay. Always nice to have. Looks like all that's right. all there is to this part of the map. Why not? I do wish it would uh -huh. tell you now in in the game what direction the enemies are going to attack from like are they going to attack from this side is that possible it's i love the way the map looks it's very organic it's also a bit unclear as to which directions can you be attacked from like could i be attacked from this direction i don't even know it's not entirely clear you know like the mist is obviously scary and it's meant to convey like enemies could attack from there but like is this a place enemies can come up out of or is it just here for me to collect mist um so i do wish it was a bit more clear kind of which areas you should start thinking about defending because that might also change where you put your non-combat buildings and how you arrange those so i i'm, I'm gonna complain a little bit about that i i think that's a weakness of the organic looking map is that it's not entirely clear about that. All right, this hopefully, yeah, allows me to build another sawmill here. I mean, they're so cheap, even though it's not a ton of wood. How could I not, how could I not build one there? And then we get a quarry in this delicious area. Uh, looks like I need some stone, though. So prop it up. There we go. And then if I could build a warehouse here, I'd get a lot more. But yeah, warehouses need 14 citizens. That's a lot. Behold, my house on a house design. <laughs> um, yeah, I was curious if you could, and you can. If you build the right supports, you can build a house on top of a house. And that's nice and space efficient, and all we need is some stairs down, which we can figure out, I'm sure. Uh, let's see, I'll probably want to do one of these. Results are in. Does not work. Which means... Which means... What does that mean? It feels like there should be a way to do this. Because if that wasn't there... Then this could... you know, do that, and they could exit from the same spot. But then we need to support... Is one of these the answer? Actually, one of those might work. Um, let's see. Will that support this other one? There we go. It does work. There's the blueprint. And the bonus to all of this is we can smack an air filter on top. And it's already at six meters. All right. I, I dig it. I dig it. Okay, new blueprint for this. This is a good one. This one's a good one. 75-25. And we get two... Two sets of civilians. I'm gonna build another one. We're just gonna we're gonna need a ton of citizens, so I'm just gonna go ham. Just get a bunch more. Call it a day. And hopefully we this will be more than enough to take out this brood nest over here. Yeah. Yeah. This cannoneer is dope. All right, that wasn't too bad. Oh, there's even more stuff over there. Jeez. Yes. All sorts of little opportunities here. But first I want to go around this way. For Ogar. 
And our first nice. night is coming, which is mm -hmm. kind of scary. Kind of a lot of map to explore here. Capacity. All right, so I need more military capacity. I'm researching that here. And then I can unlock level two. And then we need to build a bridge over here. Bridge over troubled mist. Actually not sure. Kind of a weird oh, space. Good. How are we meant to get around this corner? Well, let's just try and see what we can do. And build a stone like that and like that. Is that enough to get? Oh yeah, this will be enough. Being able to overhang stone and then build wood over, yeah. There's our bridge. <laughs> are you kidding me? Horrors are too close to build right there. Okay. So we need a stairway that spirals like this. There we go. All right, bridge complete. Now we can head over to this new area. Oh gosh. Take him out. Perfect. And wow, there's multiple directions I can go in this area. There's something over here. More treasures over there. Good. Masks on. That's right. All right, now we can take out this bad beacon. Or Ogar! And now we can build stairs back up. And what's this? Is this already mine? Does this count? Do I need to build a beacon? How, else? How exactly does this work? Not sure. We'll build a beacon and see what happens. Masks and keep ex uh, Yeah, we'll keep exploring this way for now. It looks like it's almost night time, so we have to be careful about that. We will prevail. Mm -hmm. That's right. Whoa. All the treasures over here, huh? Okay, so I have lots of wood. I should try to spend it on stuff. I'd like to build a warehouse. I can. Perfect. I'm going to build it not there. Actually where? Maybe maybe there's a good spot. That'll this will improve my stone my stone gathering by a lot. And then how else can we spend wood? I mean, my classic citizen plus air gathering is a pretty good one for spending wood. Oh, and I still need to build. Ah, there's so many things we need to build. another guild there. Can I build another sawmill? Oh, there's already a sawmill right there. Okay. The bal yes. All right, what else is over here? Decoration wall. That's a brood nest. For oh god. No, 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 run away, please. We'll be able to put another quarry over here. Masks on. The night is nearly here. 
it does seem like the mist condenser is working. Uh, so that's great. And uh, it's crazy. I only have four available citizens with all of this. So I'm going to build a few more of my double houses. Um, just because we need them. All right, that's six more housing units. That should be worth something. And I need a masonry guild before I can advance, which needs 18 more people. Oh, I did not mean to build that. 18 more people for a masonry guild. I just need so many citizens, it's crazy. I feel like it's kind of almost obnoxious, to be honest. The house extensions are nice, but it's only one extra person per house. So it's not like an absurd, you know, boost. You know, that'll be 10 people instead of eight people. Like if, and if I built on both sides, yeah, it ends up adding four more. That's not connected to the front won't be connected. You know, that ends up being four more people. So if you built a blueprint based around it, you know, you might be able to get one, two, three. I don't think you could get five bonuses off of it. I think four bonuses off of each one is the most you can get anyway. So it's not that great because that's just one more shack. And yes, it's nice because it doesn't cost any oxygen, whereas these do cost oxygen. So it's slightly improving your like citizen to oxygen ratio, but it's not it's not insane I think building the vertical shacks is probably better at the end of the day okay but you guys need to get home good because the night is coming I guess I, I really want to explore over here but I won't so where are the attacks coming from just to the east Yes, just just to the east. Okay. Or no, sorry, north. That's north. There's a compass at the top. That's how I know. Um, there we go. Eyes open. Escape does not get you out of map view. Okay, so we want to shore up these walls for the attack. It's kind of annoying. It, they're kind of already... Yeah, I mean, they're nice walls, but building onto them is going to be tricky. Okay, I built some more space back here. The idea is to have two cannoneers. I know that, that they're not optimal on the high ground, but this just feels like too good of a spot for them. So because they're not going to fit in here the way that this has been built. Because those are all windows. There's only room for like one bowman to stand there or one lobber. And then there's Merlons up here, but nowhere to stand. Come on, they, they did me dirty on this base. It looks good, but it's not its not uh, very optimal. Because if you want someone to stand up there, what's a way we could... I don't even know how I would make it so that someone could stand there without... And stand here. Maybe a wooden triple might do it. Here, here's the idea. All right, let's see if this works. We'll do that. No, that's going to be too high, though. Um, Aha! Broke, broke the code. It is cool, all the options you have. Now, we'll see if someone can still stand under there. I don't know what, what their headroom requirement is but yeah hmm. yeah they can't get there why can't they get there um 
Is it because they can't get up to... Oh, yeah, this this is a headroom issue. Okay. Uh, well, that might be okay. Let's see if we can kind of rebuild this part a little bit just to have a normal stairway up. Like this. And then they should be able to get there. And it looks like they can walk, still fit through those stairs. But it's not letting me walk underneath. Where to? I'm on it. To there. Oxygen is dwindling. Ah, that's annoying. So it seems like they need a full two tiles of headroom. Because if I erase that, they can walk there. Yeah. So it's it's literally impossible then to make this work. Yeah. Right away. Well, that's super annoying. We will prevail. But huh? cannoneer, where'd you go? Wait, where is my cannoneer? Oh, they're yeah? they're okay. lagging. They'll be able to stand there. Yes. Yeah, right. And we should be able to hold off, I think. Huh? Mm -hmm. Got some extras here. In All fact, right. I'm gonna have the extras keep exploring over here. And now I have 20 military capacity. So, build some more bowmen and lobbers. I'm already down to 90 a minute oxygen. That's nuts. You know what I'm going to need to do is figure out the double bunkhouse, double shack plus oxygen on top. That's going to be a real. Figuring out the pathing for that's going to be real interesting. Okay, so all the way to the east here, you know, where we were wanting to explore, seems like there's more treasures. The are and a large brood nest. So maybe I shouldn't have tackled this with just these troops. Centaurs? Oh dear. That's kind of scary. Um, they're gonna hmm. retreat for now. And the big attack is coming. Right? Yeah, here we go. You're joking. That horror left pupae even as it died. Don't overlook them. Oh boy. Centaurs are slow but hardy and can attack multiple wall pieces at once. Higher damage attacks works better. And speedy attacks will. Archer's shooting those double arrows is clutch. Oh, you know what I forgot to do was spikes. And they drop four little ones on death. That's fun. Oh, jeez. What are the walls doing? I think we're gonna make it. Seems like we're gonna make it. Oof. That was a little scary. Alright, let's come back with seven. Seven troops this time. Oh man, they're still up here. Tearing down the walls, eh? Okay. Hopefully we can handle this large nest. This is a lot of baddies. Oh gosh. Maybe I should try to rebuild this wall and then attack through it. No, I think we'll be okay. Just gotta not let them build up here. There's some more minerals. Boom. 
The lost page is going to be back here, I think. That's my guess. Yep. There it is. Doing it. Oh, I need... I need old Iris to come over here. Huh? Okay, so Iris... You come here. A unit can't reach its destination. Wait, what? We are needed. Good. Yes. Mm hmm Okay. Huh? On it. Doesn't seem like there's anything else here to explore. Um It almost seems like I can yeah, I can get over here with the bridge. And then can I build my masonry guild yet? Yes, finally. Wow, it's a big one. Um I've not left a lot of space randomly around in my base for the stuff like this. Perfect. Just build it out in the middle of nowhere. And then that will allow me to upgrade um, my, what's it called? Prosperity level? Where to? Yeah. Okay, so this is almost put together. We just need stairs. Yes, I've got this. Right away. And we get some more wood and stone. I probably need another beacon to get close to this. Yeah. In fact, I'll need two beacons. So with that, I think we've explored the whole map. Right Except for over here, I guess. Still one more spot to explore. Jeez, it's a big map. Oh, there's even some salvage out here I can collect. Oh, and it looks like walls automatically go back to full health after nighttime. Either that or something magical happened, because those are fully healed. I need 540 oxygen to go to the next level. Hmm? I've got this. On it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Masonry Guild has some upgrades. Light cast by lanterns goes further. Toughness granted to higher walls is improved. I like that one. Definitely going to rush that. I need some more oxygen still. It's crazy how much oxygen you need. I should maybe build that oxygen trader thing. Oh, come on. What was wrong with that? Not built in the right spot. There we go. All right, we're just looking for flat areas, basically anywhere. Anywhere I can fit them. There we go. Okay, so we'll improve our masonry. We would definitely want the range and line of sight intense training upgrade. I forgot about that one. As soon as I can afford it. And the oxygen trader doesn't seem like such a bad gig now. Uh, mostly because I have so much. Or the air trader. Um, I look at all the minerals I have. It's crazy. Okay, we're up to 800 a minute oxygen. That's pretty good, I guess. So I will build the air trader just because I think it will allow for... You know, if we... Uh, is that going to block things? Look at that. Hopefully not. Hmm, that 
That's right. We'll grab the lost page here. Huh. You'll be back in Ogar soon enough? Doubt it. Another preserved page. But it's written in a different hand. We will prevail. For Ogar. Okay, right. I needed another beacon over here. Aha masks. Here it is. Go back to the front gates. We will prevail. Huh? Right away. Was there more to explore over here? Yes. I think. Doing it. I think they want me to try building a bridge over this. This feels this feels bridgey to me. You just can't quite get there. If we could just jump. Oh, you know what? This is the edge of the map. That's what this line is. That line represents the absolute edge of the map, so it doesn't Close even matter. Eye. I'm literally just doing something pointless. So that's the top and bottom of the map. I guess the left side, we can't explore most of it, but... So there you go. We have captured the whole map. Hmm. I've got this. Now, I was going to build the air trader. I already did. What else was I going to build? Uh, I think I was just going to upgrade, yeah, to Prosperity 3. We don't have the oxygen. Okay, so the air trader allows you to... Trade oxygen for 50 wood, trade oxygen for 50 stone. Oxygen cost will increase for every batch of stone bought this way until next sunrise. Okay, I like that. Um, I was thinking I could buy oxygen with this though, not just sell it. So that's not quite what I was hoping for. And we definitely need to improve the walls here. Okay, so here's my idea. We've got a front wall to slow them down with at least a medium toughness. And then we built up uh, some extra stuff. We've still got those windows where we can put two bowmen, I guess. Uh, I want all my bowmen to target deadliest enemy. And then you'll stand there. Cannon ready. And then we can have a cannon on the top and all my lobbers on the top. And I will do Merlons as well. To, uh... Interesting that you can overhang the corner, Merlon. So I can get one extra person standing on the wall that way, compared to if I just did straight Merlons. Huh. That is interesting. It feels a little cheesy though, so I'm just going to do normal Merlons. Okay, and I just set up some stairs up to this outer wall here because I think it'll be nice to have some extra lobbers lobbing from there. And three more lobbers. 
What else do I need? I think things are looking pretty good. I'm gonna need some more citizens, I guess. So let's set up another double, double bunkhouse. More double shacks. Post haste, you shall see. You shall see. Okay, so now we can increase. Uh, so mist fuel, I think, is a like a, a, I don't know what you call it, a type of resource where you rent it. It's like you have ten available and you can only build units worth ten. It's not a resource that you collect and then spend. Um, so I have a mist condenser. A master sawmill, master quarry is a thing. So it just has more workers, it looks like. Uh, a bulk air filter. Cool. An air silo. That's what we need. Is building it up high do anything for you? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Um, a homestead versus a shack is plus eight. Aha, that's nice. And then what else can we build now? A bomber's workshop, cannoneer and balliste. That sounds awesome. So we'll do that next. Are they going to attack from another direction this time? I can never tell. The nice thing is you can pause it. The night is nearly here. Okay, now we can find out. Uh, two attack locations. Oh, if you go to the map, they give you arrows? Oh my gosh. I really wish they would give you those arrows when you highlight it. Like right here, it should show those arrows. That's so handy to know like where they're actually gonna be coming from. Okay, so I do need defenses over here then. So let's get kind of a stone platform. Still can't attack over there. Weird. I wonder how that all works out. I delete that and put you here. You still can't attack over there. That feels. Uh, I don't know. Let's go. Feels kind of off. A solid plan. Even from there, he can't attack over here. Weird. Um, okay, well, I guess solution is just to keep them preoccupied with destroying a bunch of random blocks for a while, and then maybe that'll give me time. What is attacking from here? A few, but, but they're the centaurs. So I do need some archers. We should have a couple archers for that. And what were the upgrades I was going to do? Makes traps more durable and long lasting, further increases the toughness granted by higher walls. Well, that seems like a no brainer upgrade. You can also just upgrade your shacks to homesteads. That's really nice. I didn't realize that. And we'll upgrade a few of our oxygen doodads. All units consume less oxygen is an upgrade for the air silo, and all units consume less oxygen over time. Wait, there's two of the same upgrades. Nice.
Now units are only half of my oxygen, or I guess about a third of my oxygen consumption right now. So even if that went down to zero, I'd still be consuming quite a bit from buildings. But every little bit counts, and the more units you have, the more that that adds up. So we go from 596 up to... Seven, oh, well, there were a couple things that happened in a row, but we're down to 513 a minute for units. Hmm? Nice. On it. All right, here we go. And there's no centaurs on that main attack. The hunters right. are coming. Okay, I don't know what few means, but shouldn't that be dozens? That that feels like dozens to me. That's a lot. I'm gonna pull a bowman. I need more people over here. Oh, and they can just run all the way around? Cool, cool. I should have thought of that. Really should have thought of that. What's happening over here? Honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna pull another. I'm gonna pull another bowman and uh, lobber, and this bowman. Oh jeez. Oh man, this is bad. This is really bad. I did not think all that through properly. Somehow, not everybody died. And these guys did fine. All right. Sweet. Well, I think I need to call it an episode there. Um, I know there's still one more night. Maybe I'll just... Uh, maybe I'll skip that part. I'll just skip to the, to the night so you guys can see how the level ends. And then we'll call it an episode. So yeah, this this game is really cool. I, I really, there's so much more to it and I think building a big massive base is gonna be a really cool thing. And you know, we've kind of just been putzing around with little, little baby bases board. here. So I think there's a lot of cool stuff coming. I just, I'm trying to imagine like a, a multi-layer wall, you know, with like, kind of like stairs down along the front so everybody can see and shoot and just like massive amounts of cannons and loads of cannoneer and ballista basic attacks with spark. An enemy under the effect of spark explodes upon death. Yeah, I mean, imagine setting that up everywhere with like five bombardiers. So cool. All right, so I was able to get a bomber's workshop going. We even got a bomber spark upgrade here for these cannoneers. We've got a nice wall and everybody's got their respective upgrade behind them along with banners. So I think this side should be just fine. This side's still the same as it was before. Um, I think it'll be fine too. I probably should keep producing um, some basic units throughout just in case, but here comes the night, and let's see what happens. One thing, one other small negative comment I have, or constructive criticism, whatever you want to call it, because you're being attacked on multiple fronts, I actually don't. You know, I, I should have thought of this. They're going to attack from a third direction. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um. Shoot. 
I guess I can pull yeah. a little bit of everybody Sorry. off the wall, Post and we'll just hope it's enough. Uh -huh. I'll pull Iris off. Where to? I'll pull one bow and one lobber from over there. We're constructing some new ones. Hopefully that will end up being enough. Where are they even going to attack from? Okay, they're going to come in from that corner. Wonderful. So yeah, that, yeah, I don't know. Is it, yeah, huh? like, yes. is it always one, two, three? You know, the first night they only attack from one direction, the second night they attack from a second, and then the third night they attack from a third direction. I don't know if it's always like that. There's just a bit of those kind of small annoyances for me where it's like, I, I want to be able to set this yeah. up before they're actually, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I guess they give you the evening. For some reason, I thought this was nighttime. This is just the evening. Um, I still don't know if I love, though, that they add a new direction every single night. It kind of feel would feel nice to have just the same directions, but I guess they want to keep you on your toes. Um, this is an interesting area. I could at least build, like, a range and damage boost tower here. Let's see. So you can get a nice little four by four area from only a two by two pillar. That's cool. And then the Merlon, we'll want the corner one like this, or maybe like that. Yeah, and then we can do a damage boost. So that's not too bad overall. And this is a weird idea, but can I like... Will that work? We, we will prevail. It does work, okay. So they can treat the straight stairs as like a floor to step yeah. off of. Hmm? Yeah. Where to? Okay, I'm hoping that's enough. It might not be. Mm -hmm. We'll send this bowman over here too. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Now the night really begins. So anyway, the thing that I... Oh, what is that? That's abomination. Wonderful. They give birth to pupae when they feel in danger. So... Yeah, so the thing I'm I'm kind of thinking overall is like, I don't like that you can't watch all your defenses at once. I actually really enjoy um, like watching it, right? That's half, oh, oh, you're gonna point out the abomination. Okay. What fresh horror is this? It's hideous. Everybody, steal yourself. So yeah, it's like, I wanna watch my defenses work. And the fact that I can't watch all three at the same time, is kind of a bummer. Um, like, I want to be watching this happen, and I want to be watching this happen, and you only get to... Oh, man, cannoneers are awesome. Did you see that? Oh, my gosh, the bomber's spark is awesome. That's epic. I might be a little under-defended on this wall. How's over here going? See, yeah, I don't like that I can't kind of watch them one at a time. Because you're missing two-thirds of the battle that's happening. And, you know, you spend a lot of time setting up these defenses. You want to be able to, like, Let's go already. take advantage of uh, the joy of watching them. All right, I'm going to send these guys up to the top. Bit scary. Think we'll be okay. Looks like they were okay over there. Okay over here. That's right. I can send these units over to the main wall in case it's not enough. Uh oh. I think we're gonna be okay. Nice. Sweet. Well, there you go. All right. I love this game. It's official. And definitely recommend you guys try it out. 
And it's only an early access, so it's only gonna get better. If I know the scholars, this will not be the last mist fuel contraption we see. Sweet. Well, with that, we'll call it an episode. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Also, let me know what other games you think we should try out, because in this uh, new era of full-time content creation, I'm going to be having a lot more of these series where we try out a game and we don't, you know, play it for dozens of episodes, but just three to five usually and kind of see what it's all about. So let me know what other games you think we should try out. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I would be ever appreciative of that as I'm going to full-time content creation. Obviously, I need financial support to help make that work. And so if you would consider doing that, I appreciate it. With that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.